Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi guys, Sue from 1A Auto. And today we're gonna to be installing a front window regulator on our 2007 Mazda 6 sedan. When removing the front panel, driver's side or passenger side, I like to start with the front speaker, top speaker here. I just take my trim tool and I'll pop it in there. I use my hands and that's toss that aside by disconnecting the speaker. It's just a little push tab. Just push my finger and nail into it and or you can use a speaker tool. Let's see where the tab is. Ah, there we go. Now we can both see it. Yeah, it's on this side. Or not. <laughs> where the heck is it? To start with, we're going to remove the main power switch here so that we can replace it. I use a plastic body tool. You just need to get down in between the, and twist it. It pops right up. Now that is exposed, you just disconnect these three connectors. They all have push tabs on them, so we're going to push down. This one looks broken, because it is. So I'm going to start here. Pull that one out, pull this one out. Now I can see that better. I can use my plastic tool, push in. And someone broke that tab completely off. We get a small screwdriver. I like to use a pocket screwdriver flathead. If you have a small flathead, you can use that. So now we're going to move into the the driver's interior door handle. And I use a little screwdriver and I pop this little window off. And you'll see a Phillips screw. And remove that. Normally there would be another screw right here in the door handle itself, but that came to us missing. So you would screw, unscrew that. Third screw is down here in the door lens where the reflector bulb is. I'm just gonna push that plastic out. And then there'll be a Phillips screw right about here. Now we're gonna be ready to move the panel out with some little panel clips. You can use a, a body tool like this. Now I use my hand. Once I break that free, move my hand all the way around. So this particular model wanted me to slide that interior door cover out. See the ear lock slides in there and the tab in the back there. So all I did was once I had mounted that screw, you just pull it forward, slide that out of the way. Now we have another electrical connector for the door lock. Push down that tab, slide it out. Now the panel can come right up. Lift it up. With the panel exposed now, I can reach my hand down in here and I'm going to disconnect the main switch connectors, push it on the tabs, tab on this one's in the back. Cannot get to any of it, get that one. 
Let me see if I can get my hand up better. There we go. Some of them are difficult. I'm gonna get my body tool that has a angle on it. See if I can get it in the back here. Push up on the clip. There you go. Now we can set the panel aside. When I start to take the window regulator regulator out, sorry. Uh, first thing you need to do is secure your glass. I use painter's tape because it's not as abrasive as like duct tape or anything, and it's pretty sturdy. So I'm gonna use it to hold the window up into the door, and this will stop it from falling down on me unless I want it to. So once that's all taped and secured, we start by removing the inner door handle. And on Mazda, this is a little trick. You can see in here, if you look, you're gonna need a sh little small screwdriver. There's a tab right on the top. See that tab? You're gonna pull that towards you, grab this gray piece of plastic and pull up. Do not pull it all the way out and I'll show you why. Pull it out enough so that this handle guide comes right out. If I was to pull that all the way up, then that spring would become disen disenlodged. So I push it back down so it doesn't come out. Grab these two cables and just pull them right out. They come right out. Now your handle is out of the way. At this point, if you needed to replace this handle, you would take the cables out. See how they latch in? They go in like that and then down. Reverse to take it out. Same with the top. Now you could replace your inner door handle. Now we're gonna take the inner panel off. This is like a, a foam board that has all the speaker mounted on it and the window motor. So I'm gonna disconnect this electrical connector up here. Pushing down the tab and pushing out. That's for the heated mirror and electric mirror. I'm gonna follow my main harness around and I'm gonna start un unfishing it because I want this panel completely out of my way. And here we have the remote key fob door lock module. I can take the speaker wire and disconnect it from the inside. Disconnect my electric motor. That's a tab on the back side. Push, push on it and pull up. And if you get in there, use a pair of angled needle, needle nose. And I'm going to use my body tool or pair of needle nose, and I'm going to undo the body clips here. There's one. Two. Now my harness is out of the way. And I can undo 13 8 mil miller, eight miller meter heads. <laughs> 13 of these, two 10 millimeter nuts, one here and one there, and then one Phillips screwdriver head. Once those are removed, we can access the regulator. I took most of them out already, and I'm just going to visually show you the ones that are kind of hidden. You get that one in between those two cables, and then down here. The one under the speaker is the one that you really can't see, but there's a nice indent for it. Then I'm going to undo the 
Phillips screw for the key fob electronic electric brakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then I'm going to undo the Phillips screw for the door lock, electric door locks key fob. That's a Phillips head screwdriver over here. Now I still have my two 10 millimeter screws, but I think that's part of the regulator. So I'm gonna see if I can wiggle, wiggle this out and see what's going on inside there. And it is, the top one is definitely attached to the regulator. So now I'm just gonna take that one off. And take the bottom one off. Still leaving my motor attached because I want to see how that works on the inside. Okay, so you do want to take the motor out because the regulator is a plastic dial mounted on the other side of the electric motor. So three 10 millimeter socket screws. They do give you the option of a Phillips head in the center. So there's our window motor. As you can see, the, the gear is on the other side, and that gear meshes up with the window regulator that's mounted on the inside. Now I'm going to have to guide the door lock and cable, release cable, through. Now I have my speaker exposed. See? Looks like if I wanted to disconnect this and get it completely out of the way, I'd still have to remove the speaker. So I think I'm going to leave it attached and just set this aside. Now we have the window regulator exposed. It's out in the open. This is where I'm going to have to lower the tape. I got to lower my window down, but I don't want it all the way down. So now I have Ten, two 10 millimeter mounting bolts. I'm going to dismount this one. Once these screws are completely out, the regulator will come right out. Now we can set that aside. And then I'm going to stand up and retake my window. You can see there's window guides. If the window does come unlodged, you're just gonna put the glass back in the rubber guides, one in the front, one on the back. At this point, I'm gonna stop and get new tape because my guy keeps taping me. <laughs> you can shut it off now, thanks. Here we have a window regulator from 1aauto.com and the factory window regulator for our 07 Mazda 6. It comes with the same exact, everything's there, cables, mounting screws, studs, and the regulator. Pre-greased, ready to install. If you need this part or any other part for your car, come on over to 1aauto.com. So I had trouble keeping the glass in the door. I couldn't have it all the way up. I have to have it partially down for the regulated bolt. Tape obviously wasn't long enough. So 
I thought, what would the homeowner have? Uh, so I tried a bungee cord and it's working. So rubber coated metal up against the glass. I ran it up over the pillar and then onto the body. That's just until I get the regulator in. So that'll stop the glass from coming down and cracking or breaking. So now with my regulator ready to go in, it comes shipped with a tie right here. I think that's to stop this gear from popping out and the cable coming undone. But we can go ahead and undo it now before we install it. So now I'm just gonna cut that tie out of there. It was just for shipping purposes. Discard that. So the regulator goes in this way. It's gonna get attached to the actual panel when we're done. First we have to attach it to the glass. So it's gonna go on this side of the glass. Just like that. I'm gonna put my mounting screws in. The plastic piece on the back that's attached to the glass, the window, has a threaded nut in it. So that's what we're attaching this to. Now I'm going to 10 millimeter socket and I'm gonna tighten that up. Just bottoming them out. I'm not gonna rank on it, it's glass. I want it to tighten up, just like that. Just nice, feel it, bottom out, maybe a quarter turn, not too much. Now we're ready to install the actual body control that this mounts to, the body door panel. So now I have my motor with the three mounting bolts on it, and this is how it goes in. They left this plastic guide here, so you, you know that that has to go right in there, like that. Start it by hand. Have my camera guy hand me my ratchet. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. 10 millimeter socket. Now I'm just gently screwing these in until I feel them grab nice and tight because we have to get those gears to line up also. So see how it just fell in, popped right into place. You have those, the round gear splines and the male splines from this side have to work their way in. So don't just force this, let it fall into place, feel it. The reason why it's, it seems like it's getting harder is because the regulator uh, has no threads in it. These are self tapping threads, uh, plastic screws like. So it's making the threads in that new regulator. So don't get stressed out thinking you might be stripping something. You're actually making the threads. You feel it bottom right out. It's exactly where you want to be. You can't turn that anymore without forcing it. It's perfect. So now I'm going to install my 13 bolts and tighten up on those two nuts. And don't forget that one Phillips screw for the lock module. The mounting bolts, the 13, are an 8 millimeter socket head. So I'm going to mount a few here for you. Then we're going to reattach our wiring harness. And before you install the whole panel, the inner panel, don't forget to run your, your cables, like I did. <laughs> You're gonna run the inner latch cable. And then the actual door handle cable. There we go. Let those sit into their place. Put the self padding in there. Now we can finish 
bolting up the inner panel. Okay, so we have the last one to do. Okay, now that's tight. Now that all 13 bolts are tight, we're gonna move on to our two 10 millimeter socket regulator guide nuts here. I'm just gonna take those out. And we have one bolt left. It's a 10 millimeter head on this regulator right here, little module. So now I'm gonna tighten this up and then I'm going to mount my wiring harness. There we go. So the harness, we got a body clip that snaps in right here. Next one comes up. There's your window motor. Here is your rear view mirror connector. That's for your speaker up here. This is for your door lock. Put it in the slot there. Looks like everything's pretty self-explanatory. They like really help you here to, to guide the harness where they want you to put it. It's nice that it has a place to go. This is all gonna go stay here because that goes for your main window switch. And then this goes on the door panel. That's your marker, inside marker light. Now we can install the internal door handle. Remember this is the one where, maybe you can get a better look at the clip now. See that little lock, little clip right in there? We have to pull that out and pull up on this tab, the way it's designed, so that we can install the cables. So out of the two, let's see what this does. That's your door lock and the one with the white clip is the actual door latch. So when we look at our handle, we know the bottom one is going to be the door latch. So we're going to guide that in. This is how you just drop it in there and slide it around. The same with the top. It's gonna to go from the bottom side up. There we go. And the bottom, the bottom one came out. There we go. So now to put the mechanism back in, I'm gonna clip those right in. So now we have the cables in place. So this piece has to go inside that housing have to line up this. So now we're going to disconnect. So we have to pull on that little tab, pull it out, pull up on the gray. See how it slides up? Not too much, just enough so that I can relocate everything and then push down. And now your internal door handle is attached. So as we before we install our door panel, uh, it's not uncommon for some body clips, door panel clips to stay in the door and for some to break. So you need a good body tool. You're just gonna pop them out. And work them back and forth. We'll reattach that to the panel. So that's gonna go right here. This is the broken one. I'm gonna put the good one there because it's on the top part. Then the broken one, you cannot reuse it. So I'm gonna just take it out. I'm gonna to go to my cabinet and replace it. Uh, if you need one, you can go to your local parts store, check online or the dealer. So now that I'm ready to put my panel on, my, inner, my door panel, because I've got all the clips in, I'm gonna attach the main switch again. This is the window switch. Click that in. And now I can fish 
the Marfa light bulb. Put that in spot right down there. Make sure that you get this the your speaker wire out of the way. That should stay right where it is. That's going to be your door lock switch. So I start by putting the upper clip on the windowsill. Pushing that down in place. And then you can feel with your fingers. You want to come over and see the, the body clip goes in that hole. And you're just going to slim it right, right into place all the way around. Now I'm going to mount the bottom screw here that goes in that marker lens hole. It's a Phillips. Snug that down. And we install the lens. Line the pins up and just push it in. At this point, if this car came with a mounting bolt here on the handle, I would install that, but it didn't come with one. No big deal. So now I'm going to install the bezel, bezel for the inner handle trim. Attach my electric lock and align that slot up with that one. And open the handle, bring it out, guide it in, push right in. Yeah, now we're going to take the Phillips screw and place this in the inner part of the handle. Mount that handle bezel in place. Snap that little cover on. Now I can install my little mini speaker up here. That goes into the lock. That's what the design goes like that. You'll have get two clips and a guide. I'm gonna go right in place. Snap it in. Now we're all set. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.